And shuffle back, Fonstadt. Up to the top, Fairbrother right side, Gonsalves, save, rebound, score! Jackson Berezowski with 7.32 to go in period two. It's bound to be a bit of a shock to the system to watch the Everett Silvertips this fall and not see Dustin Wolf. The two-time defending WHL top goaltender has moved on in the Calgary Flames system, leaving a legacy to his successors. Now the Silvertips are a multifaceted bunch. They can score, they can defend, and even though there's at least one new face in the crease named Cohen McInnes, they're confident they can stop pucks too. Uh, we're, we're really happy about uh, picking up Cohen and, and having him join our group. And Obviously, he had a, a couple good uh, preseason starts for us. And, you know, the biggest thing was we wanted to have a, a healthy uh, a, a competition with our group of goalies. So we have Braden Holtback and Evan May right now with Cohen. And and uh, we, we weren't able to really have uh, Braden too long. He was gone with uh, Toronto Maple Leafs for uh, seven to ten days there. But now that we got Braden back, you know, we, we want to try to drive that, that competition in net. And, and uh, you know, we look forward to seeing them pushing each other and, and uh, having, like I said, that real good, uh, uh, healthy uh, uh, competition. He's got Jake and Smallwood alone in front. Smallwood a shot save made by McKinnis. Yeah, I think we got uh, we got a couple key guys we can rely on. And that's uh, that's kind of the biggest thing is having and having trust in your goaltender back there. I mean, he's going to bail us some bail us out some games and we're going to have to do the same for him. So. I think we're we're getting that trust there with them, and it, it's good to see it uh, starts in practice and stuff like uh, preseason like this. So it's it's good to see it coming along. As far as offense is concerned, it comes from everywhere in Everett and has done for years. Jackson Berezowski and Co are willing to share the spoils if it gets the job done. Uh, I think we got a pretty good group. I mean, uh, we got depth up and up and down the lineup, so it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what guys fit into each role. But I know. Uh, just speaking throughout the locker room and stuff like that, guys are ready to take on whatever role necessary. I mean, we're all we're all looking for that uh, end goal of a championship. So I think all the guys in the room don't really care where they play up and down the lineup as long as we're as long as we're getting those wins and uh, two points at the end of the game. The Silver Tips will have some help from overseas as well. Finland's Nico Hootenen was the second overall pick in the CHL import draft this year and a prospect of the Tampa Bay Lightning, while veteran Michael Goot returns to Everett after a year away. Goal scoring is tough to do in this league. Goal scoring at this level and in a pro hockey, it's, it's a premium. Both those guys bring that uh, uh, ability to score and, and to generate offense. Obviously, Nico's a, a different player than Michael Goot, uh, a much bigger, more physical, uh, raw player. He can shoot the puck hard. He has a knack for scoring uh, timely goals. He's not afraid to get net front. He's not afraid to finish checks. And Michael Goot's more of a uh, uh, finesse and, and a playmaker. Uh, he, he likes to dish the puck. He likes to look for his teammates. He can also score goals, but both of them will be uh, uh, integral parts to our, our offense and to our power play. And like I said, we're really excited to have both those guys here. Uh, he's, he's doing pretty good. I mean, uh, his English is getting there. So it's always fun to joke around with guys like that. And uh, we got uh, Michael Goot coming back too. So. He's uh, he rooms with me, so I'm pretty used to the kind of the language barrier stuff like that. But no, Nico's been he's he's going to be a big addition for us. I mean, he's uh, he's a big power forward, and kind of exactly what we wanted. He plays that hard nosed game, and he can uh, he can rip the puck. So I'm excited to see what kind of year he has. There's a new set of captains in Everett this year too. Berezowski will wear the C along with Carolina prospect Ronan Seely, two players that have seen it all and soaked it all in during their time in Snohomish County. Yeah, you know, speaking on, on both of them, they're just high quality uh, individuals. I've, I've been fortunate to coach them since they, they came here at Everett and you really see them grow with and develop uh, into this role. They've had great leaders in the past. They've learned from, they've really embraced the uh, leadership of, of our group and our team culture. And Jackson's a little bit more vocal uh, in, in the locker room and, and uh, plays with a lot of uh, e e emotion and, and uh, grit and, and leaves it all on the ice where Ronan, uh, again, he's he's uh, more of a calming leader, you know, throughout it. He's the one that's still talking to the young guys, helping them through, making sure that the message is being de delivered from the staff. Off down to the right side, Manulin shot blocked by traffic. Rebound now, Berezowski, score! 